What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Connor Speed 6. Today what we're going to be doing is moving forward in our playthrough of Forza Horizon 2. As you can see, I'm in this beautiful 22B STI. Last time we played was actually quite a while ago and uh, we were running some A-class rally racing or trail racing of sorts. Uh, and I built this car up really quickly just to race a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is just move on today a little bit and uh, see where the game takes us. Before we get into it, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. Uh, we are on the road to Forza Horizon 5. We are, I think, just about over a month out uh, from when the game uh, is due to be coming out. So this is exciting stuff. All right, so let's take a look and see where we left off. I didn't get any type of pop-ups sort of telling me what to do here, so I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna go. It looks like we've got some new events and new races to take part of. It also looks like we have a new road trip, but what I'm really interested in is actually taking uh, part in a couple of these bucket lists. So let's do that. Let's start here and uh, just see what happens. Forza Horizon 2, as most of you know, was my favorite Horizon game uh, to date. I cannot wait for Horizon 5. I have a feeling it's going to be just insane. Uh, the map looks beautiful everything about the game looks spectacular but uh, going back to this game uh, it was just in my opinion a game changing title you know everything about this game uh, from top to bottom was just really good uh, the user interface the online multiplayer the single player story mode was great the car list was solid uh, and it was our first opportunity to tune cars so hoping that forza horizon 5 gets back to sort of this type of feel because forza horizon 4 just really wasn't it in the sense uh, of really cool single player and things like that all right mclaren p1 my favorite car of all time two of my favorite cars of all time sitting right here on screen i love it escape to the country in a mclaren p1 with pleasure Okay. No traction, no tune. In a rear wheel drive P1. Let's go. Let's see if we can do this. Oh. The thing about this is that you're going so fast. Sometimes the cars just sort of appear out of nowhere. Like that. Okay. It's tough. Okay, let's make a little cut here absolutely love this map oh my god it's so good well, i don't think this is going to be a problem at all boys and girls i escaped to the country fairly easily let's see if i can get around these last uh two corners or so without smashing into a car or a barrier oh it's not gone super well but i made it let's get it nine seconds remaining That's one down but they won't all be this easy oh okay these bucket list cars in this game were amazing too. It just added a little bit more depth to a game that was already really, really in depth. All right, let's head over to another one. Speed zone in the La Ferrari. Skill mastery in a Dodge Dart. Yes. Lancia Delta. Turn around a hard. Oh, so. sorry about your Vespa. Wow, I have to say, jumping out of the McLaren P1 and into uh, a 22B, it's a little bit of a, a shock to the system here. It's a bit different. About drove right into that car. I feel like uh, the car sounds in Forza Horizon 2 were just masterful. They sound far and away better than Horizon 3 and Horizon 4, in my opinion. While Horizon 3 was good, uh, they, they sort of just used some recycled sounds, and, and the same goes for Horizon 4 from Horizon 3. I think what set Forza Horizon 2 apart from the rest of the games is the the map and the driving roads on the map. You know, these roads are really, really twisty. They've got those really, really high speed, long sweeping corners. The European countryside, you know, and, and coastlines were able to afford us that while sort of the coast or the, the coast the roads in great britain we'll say uh in horizon 4 not exactly our best 
uh, options when it comes to driving. Oh yeah, I forgot we're going up this little weird. Oh, I threw it in reverse. That's good. Add a boy, Connor Speed Six. But anyways, yeah, I don't, I don't think um, Horizon Four really gave us that driving uh, experience that we look for and that we've actually uh, seen in past Horizon titles. Uh, so for me, this game was the undisputed goat for for that reason, just one of many reasons, but the driving roads alone. All right, let's see what we got. All oh, the Delta. Oh yes. Let's go. This is a bucket list car for sure. Rally Alancia through a forest at night. This may call for a couple restarts, just assuming. Okay, so as some of you know, whoever's played this game, there is no real path down through these woods. So you just sort of make your own. And I've made it. I don't know how. This car is not really good on tarmac. It's not supposed to be though. Now I'm not trying to set a world record, of course, so I'm just gonna stick to the road. I could have just driven straight, you know, through that field over there, but uh, I'd rather not do that. The, also the lighting engine in this game and the colors, it's just so vivid and, and so high contrast. It really is something to behold. It, it just, it's so nostalgic and it's really not even an old game, but it takes me back and makes me just feel some type of way. Oh wow, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I didn't make it! Don't worry about it. This was a hard challenge. You should give it another go. I've not done well. Let's try again. Come on, little Lancia. That, that's a rock. Christ on a bike. It's so floaty. Okay, that's better. Got through there a bit quicker. I wasn't taking uh, my my time deadline as seriously as I should have last time through. That's good. Thanks for having a car right in the apex of the corner. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Oh yeah, plenty of time. Best festival site of any game too. Let's go. All right. Now let's actually move on to some races here. All right. So it looks like we've got three different events up here. It looks like they're all 90s rally car events and i'm not sure if i selected that we actually have some events out here as well oh no those are bucket lists i'm not sure if i selected 90s rally or if that's what it gave me but it's okay i guess we'll just drive up to them and see what happens can we just take a moment to enjoy the colors and the brightness and how vivid the picture is the beautiful beautiful colors of nice and then you've got the dark sky and the contrast with the beautiful sky it's just so good. It's so good. This does not look like a game that is, what, 12 years old at this point? I don't even remember what year this came out. But, oh my god, I think it was 2012. Or maybe 14. I can't remember. Whatever. <clears throat> it's just fantastic. The moon up there, beautiful. Let's show these people who's boss. I don't remember these roots. Alright. And the problem with these roots is you really can't see braking lines. That is a, not an excuse. I don't usually drive with braking line or driving line unless I'm in like an online convoy or live streaming. Nice and bouncy. All right, let's get it. Big cut there. Oh, I itch, of course. Whoop, whoop. Bunch of whoopties there. The legacy has always been fairly OP in these games. I'll handle that nicely. Okay. I was a little hesitant there because I was afraid that I hit that jump and the car would kind of tilt forward on me, but it didn't. I'm trying to keep my eye on the mini map here as much as possible. Drive as straight as possible through these through these curvy bits. Ooh, get on the e-brake to keep the back end sliding because I almost missed that checkpoint. I've handled it nicely though. Horizon 2 is one of those games where there was lots of cross-country racing, but that was okay because cross-country racing didn't suck. In Horizon 2 like it does in Horizon 4. So I, this was event number two. I don't remember doing event number one, so I apologize for that. All right, on to the next one. See, another cross-country event. Let's head up here to it. I'm not gonna drive on the road because why? You gotta practice cross-country racing anyways, apparently. Man, I remember doing like these playgrounds events, the games, uh, King and, and uh, Infection here at the golf 
golf course and it's so rough because it's super bumpy and uh, it's really difficult to get traction or keep traction and all the hills and bumps and jumps things like that it's really tough but fun another thing horizon 2 had the best games maps all right i'm trying to remember this event the faster you can get out in front of the ai cars the better because oh God, okay okay that's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be because of all the dirt and stuff that's being kicked up in your face that was not good Oh, that was so close. I was just trying not to go too tight. So I didn't scrub very as much speed. All right, we're not doing so bad. We're up into P2 already. Let's remember to just try to drive as straight as possible through here. And up into P1. Nicely, nice and safe there. I'm not driving very straight through there. I'm just trying to find the next checkpoint. Oh, 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 oh. Not done well through there. Little taps of the e-brake in there to get the back end rotated around. Looks like we're going to take this one home pretty handily as well. Oh, that was almost a game changer. I keep forgetting to shift. Let's go. That's another big dub. Looks like our last event is going to be a tarmac sprint race. So this should be interesting in 90s rally cars. Especially for me because this thing is so floaty. That's a tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another thing in these games in Horizon 2. Those little skitty trees, the little toothpicks is what uh, myself and some of my old friends used to call them. You cannot drive through those. They will not break. However, there's some big thick boy trees out there uh, that will break. So it's, it's kind of funny because you have to try and figure out which ones do and which ones don't break. Uh, or just drive through the woods and cross your fingers. Rally Ridge or the Ridge Sprint in a 90s Rally Subi. I think I've already got the championship locked up for this event. Back up. Hey, get off me, son. Use that pole to slow me down a little bit. Or post, whatever you want to call it. Round the outside. Round the outside. Oh. Sorry. God, get off me. Jesus. Criminy. I know I, I, I sent it, but damn, like, turn. He was just driving straight into me, driving me through the corner. What the hell? Moving on up to the east side. We got P3 locked. Now we got P2 locked and we're going to cut. Deuces. Now let's try to not wreck and give up our position. That's definitely something I would do, especially in a mushy boy rally car on tarmac. About did it right there. Missed the breaking point. All right, so we've got a hard right up here. Any opportunity to cut? Yeah, just a little bit. God, I love this game. I love the roads. I love the driving. I love the feel, the physics. Fairly average driving on this event. However, I still pick up the dub, sweep the event. We'll take a P1. Ooh, to unlock the Horizon finale, I need to win 10 more championships. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to take a look at a couple bucket list items for you there, plus do a little bit of racing. So in the next playthrough, we're going to head up to the hub and then take our road trip to San Giovanni and see where that takes us from there. But again, that's going to do it for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment, and be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. As always, I am Connor Speed 6 Until next time, much love, everyone. See you soon.